In the wake of the World Hearing Day, there has been a renewed call for the country to promote an inclusive environment where people with hearing disability can have equal opportunities to thrive. This call was made by the Sims Deaf Probe Foundation at an event to commemorate World Hearing Day 2024 themed Spotlighting Excellence, Deaf Arts Showcase and Policy Makers. The event showcased exceptionally gifted community of deaf artists across music, dance, poetry and visual arts. Our correspondent Paul George was there and now reports. Seated here are mostly people living with disabilities. The special young ones who demystify the odds of hearing loss display their prowess in choreography, dance and miming of songs to the admiration of the audience. The executive director and founder of Sims Deaf Pro Samuel James Femi says the special young adults can do much more if they get support from the government. As they say, you be too much dependence on them. So we are trying to push our own way to make the deaf people, make the world see the deaf people that they can actually do this thing. What we are doing here is something most people do think is not even possible. We are we're providing support in the sense that they can be economically viable, being able to use, be useful to themselves too in the um, in, in the yeah, society. We are still very the hopeful that the government will reach out to us. We are pushing all we can to be able to get to the government. Eniola Ayeni, who represented the General Manager, Lagos State Office for Disability Affairs, Adenike Oyetunde Lawal, urges everyone to learn sign language to bridge the gap. She speaks alongside policymakers. At the Lagos State Office for Disability Affairs, we understand the importance of communication. Hence, we engage everybody in Lagos State to endeavor to learn sign language through trainings organized for them by the office. I came across the Deaf Can Dance crew. I've been following their work and I've also created opportunities for them to work with choreographers that I work with. And I think when people see that, they will realize that there are actually gaps in the work that they're making or the work that they're platforming and they will encourage uh, the inclusion of artists who have disabilities within their own platforms as well. When you identify something, you, you, you embrace it and know there's something there. If the society can identify with them, it makes it easier to create opportunities, to create platforms. And I believe even in the academics, that opportunity can be to create um, curriculums around the disabilities. I, like I, I said, I don't like to use the word disability. So people that are unique, every one of us are unique. So we can actually have inclusion. When we look at the SDG goal, where inclusion is, inclu is infused. Special educator and sign language interpreter Bayon Le Olaolua reveals the causes of deafness and how it can be prevented. Deafness can be hereditary, right? Like a deaf person can give birth to another deaf person. So another part is um, smoking while being pregnant, accidents during um, pregnancy for someone who, who was born hearing and now became deaf. This is one of the major causes. Prolonged labor can also cause it. Sound, noise can cause it. Um, injury in the ear can also cause it. Ear wax, excessive ear wax can make someone lose their eardrum and become deaf. She uses her uh, hearing aids. When she wants to listen to music, she has to listen to the song first to score the song so that it will match the signs. So she will sign to what she has prepared, she has rehearsed. The audience who cannot hide their expressions to the performances believes that there is ability in disability. Paul George plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.